Tim Lensingham on the mound making the start here tonight. Last of the first, he and the Giants lead 2 0. It is 1 2 pinch. Venable swings and misses. Change up, got him. Strike three. 2 2 pinch to Rodriguez. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Change up, struck him out. Two down. Two and two with two down. He pinches. Gonzalez swings and misses. Strike three. Chase one there. And Lincecum strikes out three in the first. The pinch. Swinging a ground ball to first. Sandoval has it. Spins around. Goes to second for one. Is Kell back to first in time. Double play. Beautifully started by Sandoval at first. Giants get the ground ball. They turn two. Here's the payoff coming up to Gonzalez. Swing and a miss. He struck him out on a changeup. Lincecum throws. Kuzminov. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a changeup, and that ends the inning. Five strikeouts for Lincecum. The pitch to Hundley and a changeup and a swing and a miss, and Hundley's gone. Six strikeouts for Lincecum. And the pitch. Swing and a miss on a changeup. And Venable's gone for the second time, and it's the seventh strikeout for Lincecum. One two pitch is strike three called fastball right there Gonzalez flashes a smile back to Ted Barrett he disagreed but right at the knees over the inside corner one two pitch curveball got him swinging in the dirt Molina pulls it out clears some room throws to first completes the strikeout with Sandoval on the bag two down Lincecum throws Macia swings and misses change up got him strike three Strikeout number 10 for Lincecum tonight through seven shutout innings. Here's his one two pitch. Hunley swings and misses. Strike three. Change up. One down. 11th strikeout for Lincecum. This will be number 138 of the game from Lincecum. Will it be the last? 3 2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Strike three. He did it. A fastball. He blew it by him at 95 miles an hour. And Tim Lincecum gets it done. His first complete game is a shutout. He beats the Padres here in San Diego, 7-0. Lincecum gets strikeout number 12. He gets win number 17. And he gets high fives from his Giants teammates as they pour out of the dugout to greet him. The Giants beat San Diego here. The final score, 7-0. And quite a night for the 24-year-old right-hander. Tim Lincecum has a chance to be the stopper again for the third time. He's 2-0. The Giants are 2-0 when he pitches. He takes his 1-0, 1.80 into the, to today's ballgame. Oops, out of order. Number 11. And you're right. That's exactly what the Cardinals are saying. Get this kid out of here. Just drop a hook on the outside corner. It blocks him up. And you got Tim Lincecum, 23 years old, four days before he will turn 24. And you think about this guy. He's not only got that fastball, but when you're sitting on that, all of a sudden comes a big hook in the changeup. Ready, the 2-2. Willie swings and misses. Ball gets away from Molina, but down to first. Strikeout number nine for Lincecum. That curveball and the fastball, an awesome combination. Dodgers and Diamondbacks are still scoreless. It's in the bottom of the fourth. Manny Ramirez has singled in his second at bat as a Dodger. And Kuzman on swings and misses. Eight strikeouts for Lincecum tonight. Fifth career double digit strikeout game. Fifth this season, that is. Add another. He has, he has punched out 11. As Tim Lincecum struck out the top three hitters in the Rockies lineup, he did it. Right in a row, power change up, power change up, and a fastball that just split the outside corner. He shook off the fastball, he wants to change it. That's such a new toy for him, and it, it's such an effective pitch. One, two, and it just absolutely bottoms out. Wants the change up. Got him. And there's your 10 strikeout. This will be number one. 38 of the game from Lincecum. Will it be the last? 3-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss. Strike three. He did it. A fastball. He blew it by him at 95 miles an hour. And Tim Lincecum gets it done. His first complete game is a shutout. Lincecum's numbers outstanding in every way. This is where he ranks in the National League. First in strikeouts, first in win percentage, first in opponent's batting average. Tied for second to win, second in ERA, and he's fourth with a 220-inning workload this season. 
that's a big strikeout. Strikeout number eight. Couldn't even be caught. See ya. 13 strikeouts for Lersica. 3 2 to Ojeda. Swing and a miss, Strunky Man. 12 strikeouts for Lensica. Two down in the inning. And the 1 2 delivery. Swing and a miss. He threw a fastball right by Roberts at 92. And that's strikeout number 12. It's a 2 2 to the pinch hitter, Macias. Gets his 10th strikeout. Two outs. 1 2 pitch. Change up. Struck it out swinging. That one in the dirt. Grabbed in a cloud of dust by Molina, who then tags out Cust. The 10th strikeout of the night for Lipsicum. There have been some people running on him, and that's what you call getting sawed off there. Oh, and it's Lipsicum who makes the play. He is a great athlete, and he proved it right there. Tim Lipsicum, as Aurelia, was a little bit late getting there. It's the Pirates, the Giants, and Lipsicum gets another K. That's eight for him. Pitch number 100. He comes set. One two pitch. Mahalam takes strike three call. Tenth strikeout in the first five innings. Got him. A career high in strikeouts for Linsica. 14. And how many of these strikeouts have we watched the payout pitch be that change up below the zone? Strikeouts for Lincecum and the Giants come back home. And Stairs is down swinging. The inning is over. Philly Stradwood in scoring position. 11 strikeouts for Lincecum. Got him. Change up. And that ends the inning. 11 strikeouts for Lincecum. Two time reigning Cy Young Award winner Tim Lincecum making his postseason initial appearance. Out. Number 12. <laughs> Dominating pitching performance by Tim Lincecum tonight. Perfectly located 92 mile an hour heater right on the outside corner at the knees to finish Derek Lee and the Braves in game one. Lincecum slams the door in the top of the sixth. One out runner at first. Struck him out with the splitter out number two. And that's all for Jed Jerko. Tim Lincecum picks right back up where he left off. That's his eighth strikeout. That's his 11th strikeout in this game. But this is the most swings and misses or swing throughs as you call them that he's ever had in a regular season game Ooh. struck him out and he's tagged out by Posey one away left field did not get all of it Blanco two down in the ninth inning Blanco it's a no hitter for Tim Lincecum <laughs> A quick discard. Denarfia. One down in the ninth. Lincecum has done it again. He has no hit the San Diego Padres for the second time in two years. Four to three, Colorado. One, two, Holiday swings and misses, strike three. And that for Tim Lincecum is his 252nd strikeout of the year. And that means a new single season San Francisco Giants strikeout record. And who better to do it against than one of the best hitters in the game, Matt Holiday? Lincecum gets a big ovation as he walks off the mound. 252 strikeouts this year. Bottom of the seventh inning, and here he is, Tim Lincecum. Two time Cy Young Award winner and a past postseason hero for the Giants. His first action since September 28th against San Diego. Here he is. Here's Dyson. Flips it into left. Ishikawa the long run. And a nice play for a guy who's relatively new to the outfield. That was fair. One out. Off the plate, tough play. Crawford. 
has to hurry. And he gets Kane. Two out. There's more pinch hitting involved. Hosmer strikes out on a pitch down and away, and that will end the seven. Good work by Tim Lincecum. He was so good out of the bullpen in that 2012 run, and then was just dominant as a starter in 2010. Strikeout starts the inning. Yeah, good team effort tonight for the Royals. Even how Ned Yost used his bench. Gordon was looking to launch on two and only pops it up. Sandoval with room. Two out. That skips in to Perez. Remember, he was the one who was in that shouting match with Hunter Strickland. Looked like a breaking ball that just didn't quite get back, but after the uh, things back and forth, your home crowd is going to react on your side. They see him slip on the mound right there. No attention, obviously. And not to make too much out of two innings in a five run game, but for a guy who hadn't appeared the entire postseason, he may be back on the short list for Bruce Bochy with what he's doing here tonight. And we'll see a lot of these scenarios unfold. Right now, I really think they're getting work in, getting looks on both sides. There's the delivery and the dangle behind him. I think right now Timmy's got an issue, something either with the mound or lower half of the body. The last couple of pitches really looking down at his legs. All of a sudden now he's going to get some attention on the mound. And he asks for the head athletic trainer to come out. Coming out. Yeah, I go back to the pitch he threw to Perez where it looked like he slipped and he tried to gut through the next two and the next two even more awkward. So everything we just said. The good work put up by Lincecum. He leaves this game with an injury. Which means that Santiago Casilla, who has been up, who is the closer for the Giants, will get a little work here in game two. Thirty-two-year-old right-hander by the name of Timothy Leroy Lincecum. Off speed, down goes Valencia, and the two out double stranded in scoring position. One complete for scoreless. Bagley reaching for it, grounds with a Simmons. And the A's leave a man in scoring position for the second straight inning. We hit to the third, scoreless. 3 2, down goes Crisp, got him to chase an off speed pitch. Two down, second strikeout for Linsko. And both on off speed pitches so far. Simeon pops it up. Simmons going out. Robinson comes in. Shane Robinson calling for it. Tim Linscombe with a one-two-three shutdown inning. We head to the fifth with the Angels up two to one. Out toward left field. Robinson has to go back on it a couple of steps, and he'll put it away. So make that seven straight retired by Linscombe. We're through five here at the Coliseum. Davis grounds this one toward third. Escobar has it. Goes to Giovatella for one. The relay back in time. A double play. And showing his appreciation for that defense behind him once again, clapping that glove, saying, nice play. This one's lined to left center field. Robinson coming in. He'll make the catch. And just like that, Linscombe is in, going to the dugout.